Hello my friends and welcome back! It's episode 80. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. <laughs> okay. This section looks nice and... Uh, like these archers and this springborn look like a good place to go. Whereas this is tougher enemies. So... I fight for honor. None can stand in my way. Oh, of course. Hmm. Let's work my way out. Gosh. Happy times. Booking in country. Happy times. For my Camelot. Blessings. to feed the ravens. All right. That's the archers down. I'm breaking left to get out of this ambush. At your service, my lord. And these these things can't dodge back, so Balan will appreciate an easy kill. For king and country. The Lord is my witness. Look at them, they're so perfectly spread out. for the wicked your orders <laughs> kill it I fight for honor shuffle to the side make up your mind Fight for honor. Run away. Before you lose any more vitality. For my Camelot. For king and country. Blessings. to feed the ravens. Kneel before your king. Your orders? Time to feed the ravens. Let's move Mordred up. <laughs> ah, the damage reduction method. She's getting the kill. 
All right, balance. Your control. command. None can stand in my way. Power and glory. For my Camelot. Try and club him. Ugh. I serve the Lord. facing the wrong way. Of course he is. What are we waiting for? Your command for king and country. Pull back, Fallon. You cannot take another hit. For my Camelot. Aha! For honor, for king and country, your command, your command, leg it. No mercy for the wicked. We really are uh, I in the dumpster here, HP wise. for honor for my camelot <laughs> all right in the end corpses look the the end is my, my mission is complete i couldn't have done it without you are you ready to leave this game uh i think we are finished here actually We are very much finished here. But I wouldn't want to encounter another fight anyway. Man, Hector is so much weaker than uh, Merlin, it's not even funny. leave this pit. Alright. Oh, ah, yeah. Hector, Hector. What can I say, man? He's, he's pretty weak. 
Also, champions are starting to become a bit weak as well. Just too many ranged attacks. Oh, that's a great little item for Tigger. I think that's an improved version of what he's got. Wow, this is really good. Fire Rain does 50% weapon damage when cast. At the beginning of every turn for two turns. A perfect item to give to someone with a high weapon attack. And maybe the Pyromania skill. Alright. Good work, Sake. AP for each kill. Sounds good to me. Um, Oh, she's missing one HP, so she's totally usable now. She's got Pyromania, but does... That's for burning damage. Does this do burning damage? Her weapon damage is not high, it's 20. Minus 3 damage from ranged attacks has certainly helped out as well. costs 1 AP, which is really nice. That's, um... So, it's going to do 15 damage per turn in a wide area. It's okay. You want to give up something for it. Uh, who's got fire rain? Wasn't it like Morgana? No, not Morgana. Le Fay. No, she's got ice rain, hasn't she? Merlin doesn't have fire rain, does he? No, he's got falling star.
true hero of this nightly tale. My knights wandering the forest sent word that the wild hunt is riding towards one of my villages, which could be a perfect opportunity to take revenge. The wild hunt will only disband at the death of their hunt's master, a cursed champion who is almost immortal. Still, an open battle against the wild hunt could save the surrounding villages. On the other hand, I could use a less chivalrous tactic. Cruel times call for cruel measures. Let's send somebody. Let's send Merlin. Because Merlin's a monster. First attack costs no AP. This guy could be quite the killing machine. gains 1 AP when killing the unit on the hero's turn. Immune to opportunity attacks is going to be so powerful because that means he's going to be able to just get behind people. No matter what. Hide AP cost reduced by one. Starting the turn hidden grants plus one AP. Oh, that's really good as well. Because that takes it down to just one AP to hide. <sighs> Gotta do it. Immune to opportunity attacks is going to allow us to just walk behind people and, and nail them to the wall. You know what, I might I might move Tigger back into the main party. He is certainly gonna be solid DPS. Received relic dust, but is there anything worth buying? Ugh. No, I don't like it. If you're getting attacked in melee as an archer, you're dead. Or close to it. Damage while in a duel. Heroes gain 1 AP during the first encounter after arrest. Gain 1 AP in the first encounter after arrest. 
So this actually is plus one AP to everybody. Nevertheless, it's medium armor and there's very few characters that use medium armor. Tigger being one of them. gonna have to be very good to uh, be worth replacing that free that free strike You know, this keeps on restocking, but it seems to be the same items non-stop. So I'm not really very excited by it. As archers go, this guy is actually developing well. His problem is he has no way of uh, defending himself. So, he plus one AP per kill. Plus one AP of five or more was spent on movement. Plus of 1 AP when killing a unit. Rain of Arrows. 100% weapon damage in a wide area. That's quite nice. Dodge the first melee attack. Okay, so now he's actually starting to get some save, some, you know, something that will save him from a hit. Just one hit though. And not a ranged hit. Cover expert. While in cover, their armor is unbreakable. His current armor is actually complete garbage. And yet, it's better than these. Cost of all skills reduced by one, while only one enemy is present in the encounter. Units hit by Rain of Arrows have one less AP on their turn, that's quite nice. Cost reduced by one, 15% more damage, 25% more against unarmored. This is a great skill with lots of great boosts. Offensively, he seems quite solid. He has a fair number of skills. He doesn't get poison, but he does get fire and pyromania. But he doesn't have any way of protecting his life.
This could be a solid item for an archer. Because if you think about it, they're going to be taking ranged attacks. And that would mitigate them somewhat. Ten HP is a lot of HP for an archer. Honestly, I don't have a good bow. Twenty damage is not a lot. Draney also has. Um, Pyromania. Minus four damage from ranged attacks, but how much is that really going to save you? First dodge actually is useful. That might be a way of keeping archers alive. If I'm going to use her, I'm going to need to rebuild her because the aim shot is garbage. It's not worth four points, sadly. You have to think of it this way. This does 25% more damage per AP. But shooting does 25% more damage per AP. If you think about it, it's 100 divided by 4, so it's 25 per AP. So actually, it's not like some monster aimed shot is actually going to uh, do tons of damage. Because it's running off the base, the base amount. So you're better off just shooting. You get the added benefit of shooting that you get this extra bounce hit as well. So it's actually a worthless move. That's great. That's really good. Dodge the first incoming attack. Dodge the first one incoming opportunity attack, which allows you to squeeze out of being stuck somewhere. And your vitality is constantly healing. Now 
Now that is actually good. I mean, that's good too, but... I love that. And I can always deconstruct it for Relic Dust later. What is Tigger's loyalty? I could push him into the plus one AP zone with the old loyalty thing. Stab attacks deal guaranteed maximum damage. What's the spread on the weapon though? There isn't any, so it's pointless. Need a big ticket weapon for that to be good, but it could be good. But find some weapon that does like 1 to 30 damage, that would be perfect. Ranged attack is going to be very useful for Balan, as he has struggled to find relevance at the start of fights. You obviously can't just send him charging out on his own because you'll get Shrek. It's not like Mordred, who can just sit there and spam lightning. I want to get this as well. I realize that this lightning attack is already quite expensive, but applying shock to four enemies actually seems pretty good. I could use the tome now. learn 50% faster. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we did not unlock any new missions or anything. We must go to the heart of the deep wood. Isn't this, like, only the second piece of Arthur that we're supposed to be killing? See, it feels like a very long game, or maybe it's the third piece, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.